Hello and welcome to another SmartSafe ADAS calibration video. Today we'll be working on a 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan and we'll be calibrating the ACC or Adaptive Cruise Control front radar. We'll be using our iSmartLink 801 display tablet along with our ADAS 3-in-1 radar calibration frame. So let's go ahead and get started. As with all ADAS calibrations, it all starts here with the iSmartLink 801 display tablet. The tablet is going to walk you through the calibration process step by step. And in order for it to do that, we first need to establish communication between the tablet and the vehicle. This is done through the VCI, which is conveniently located here in the tablet, and it will connect to the vehicle's OBD2 port. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in and get started. With the VCI plugged into the vehicle's OBD2 port, we'll go ahead and key the ignition on to position two. Next, we'll go ahead and click on the ADAS calibration button. Here we can see our VCI is communicating with the vehicle. We'll choose Volkswagen. So Tiguan, we'll hit start. And we'll always start with our ADAS system scan. So we'll click that and press start scanning. And this will go over all of the ADAS modules that are equipped in this vehicle. Uh, currently this vehicle does not have any DTC codes, so everything will show up here in green. But we'll move forward as if uh, there was a fault code for ACC. So next we'll click report. Here we're going to go ahead and generate our pre-repair report. So we'll hit OK. Our pre-repair report is generated. We'll hit save. We'll click on the back arrow. And next we'll go ahead and select ADAS calibration function. We'll choose ACC radar calibration. And here we're just being told to make sure the engine is off, but our ignition is on, which we are. So we'll click continue. And next we're being asked whether or not we're performing a static or dynamic calibration. In this case, we're showcasing our static. So we're gonna go ahead and choose number one for static. And then the next question it asks is, where is the position of the radar on this particular vehicle? Uh, for this one, it's on the, in the middle position, so we'll select two. And then it asks, which calibration uh, platform are we using? So in this case here, we're using our ADAS radar three and one. So we'll select that. So the next series of steps are gonna be uh, plumbing the vehicle so that we can get the center point uh, line of the vehicle, and that will help us to get the calibration frame centered um, to perform the calibrations properly. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So our first step is to point out the two points on the vehicle uh, in the front and in the rear. This is our center point, so we'll go ahead and use a plumb bob using the center line of the vehicle, which perfectly on this on, for this vehicle is the Volkswagen V, so we're right in the center there, and we'll go ahead and drop our first point, which is point A. So I take my plumb bob, place it on the vehicle. Make sure that it's not sticking on anything. And this gives us our point A. So we'll go ahead and place our five line laser in this position. And next we'll move to the rear of the vehicle to plot our point B. Just as we did in the front, we're gonna go ahead and plot point B at the rear of the vehicle. So same thing using our Volkswagen letter V as our center point. We'll drop the plumb bob down. and mark our point B. 
and we'll go ahead and place the reflector that points back to the front laser so we can draw out our imaginary center of the point. So with our point A and B marked, we can now go ahead and send, <coughs> align the laser. We'll use our fine tune adjustment until I can see the laser on the rear reflector. I see it now, so I'm gonna go ahead and press the V button twice on the five line. And then this will give us the continued center line uh, so that we can line up our calibration frame. So the next step here is to measure out 1300 millimeters from the center line, our center point A. And we'll follow that through along our center laser here. And right here we're at 1300, so we can see our laser. We'll go ahead and mark this position at 1300. So the next step is to go ahead and position the three-in-one calibration frame right at the cross marker. So we'll lift up our calibration frame. And since we're using the LAM0502 target, we'll line it up with the cutout for that and lay it on top of our target. Once we have that position, we'll go ahead and center it with the laser marker. Once the calibration frame is centered, we'll go ahead and attach the LAM R, I'm sorry, the LAR0901 adapter bracket. And then from there, we can go ahead and attach the LAM0502 ACC radar. So we'll go ahead and get that set up. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and make sure that we're leveled out. So we'll be in position two, and then we'll go ahead and increase the height for this target to match that of... We're gonna match that to the target, or I should say on the radar of the vehicle. With the radar calibration frame uh, aligned and set up for this particular calibration, we'll go ahead and hit the calibration button. And looks like we've got a successful calibration. So we'll hit continue. We'll go ahead and save the diagnostics report. Here we can go ahead and add a photo showing that we actually did the calibration steps. So I'll take a picture with the calibration frame. We'll add that to the diagnostics. We'll hit save. We'll go back to the ADAS calibration menu. We'll go ahead and select ADAS system scan. We'll perform the scanning option again. Now this is gonna throw us a code and we can go ahead and clear this code. So I'll select clear DTC. We'll scan it one more time. And now we'll go ahead and generate our post repair report. So under report type, I will change that to post repair. I will then click on the add button and we'll go ahead and select the pre-repair along with our diagnostic scan to complete our post repair report. Hit okay. And here is our post repair report. So this concludes our demonstration of a 
front radar or adaptive cruise control calibration using our ADAS 3-in-1 calibration frame along with our iSmart Link 801 display tablet. We hope that you found it helpful and we look forward to seeing you at the next video. Thank you for watching.